What's up guys, Spin Firearms here, and this is my unloaded and safety checked Glock 33 chamber and 357 SIG. First we're going to get into the build, then we'll get into 357 SIG itself. Now, a lot of people don't like Rock Slide, I've never had an issue with them. I've also used them for a 43 build, not a single issue. And this is ran smooth, the finish is decent, and I got two of them for really cheap so I can make Glock 27 and 33 twins. And this is the 33 like I said. It has handle it edge series grips. Make sure you get the edge series. You can use code SPN25 for 25% off. And this is a Strike Industries plus one base plate. It's plus two for nine millimeter and plus one for 40. Super ergonomic, feels really good in the hand, gives you a good full grip that a lot of people like. And then Ameriglow cap sights, which are my favorite night sights, which that front sight is tritium. And then Lone Wolf conversion barrel. This has only about 250 rounds through it. I've only put one box of hollow points through it, and it's been reliable. And this thing is a joy to shoot. This thing is just fun to shoot. Now, what I like about 357 SIG is the recoil, like where 40 is snappy upward, I feel like 357 SIG is almost like a, like a little snap up, but more snap backwards, allowing you to keep level shots, but you still feel the power. Trust me, you feel the power the second you shoot it. If you watch my first shots video with the Glock 33, just look at my face and you'll realize that there was power coming from this firearm. It's a very hot round. Now, a lot of people think that 357 SIG is a nine millimeter projectile, 125 grain. That's what all the tests were done with. They were trying to make a 125 grain round um, that would go up to speeds of a 357 Magnum. And so that's what SIG was doing when they worked with Federal designing this round. Now, a lot of people think the, sh the um, what do you call it, the casing is 40 length. It's actually not. It's actually a little bit longer than a 40. And then that nine millimeter projectile basically allowing it to have amazing speeds and awesome, awesome ballistics. Now, when scouring online to see testing and stuff like that, it seemed like whenever it was tested, it did great. But then when the report came out about um, all these big doctors and people who look at wound cavities and stuff like that, and also people who work with firearms and ballistically test them, they said that it didn't make a difference. But literally every test I've seen, 357 SIG has been superior when it comes to the numbers and also when it comes to the wound cavity. And federal HSTs are just a great carry round as it is. And those carry rounds were outperforming, um, sorry about that, other carry rounds like 9mm and stuff like that by far. And these wounds were exceptional. Um, the problem with 357 SIG is, guess how much this box was. Yes, this was 48 for one box. This was the cheapest I could find it. 50 rounds, 48. Unbelievable. Now, some would say, is it worth the extra ballistics to save your life? There's a nonstop ongoing debate about the best carry round. On top of that, ongoing debate if it would really matter if you got hit with a 357 SIG or a 9. And is that recoil worth it or not? In my opinion, the 357 SIG has very manageable recoil out of a Glock 33, which is a subcompact, um, making it definitely worth it. The problem is the training. If you trained as much, if you shot as much as you did with 357 SIG, I'd be broke. Like it, it's that simple. Nine millimeter is so cheap. 357 SIG is the opposite. And a real problem we have with it is there's not a lot of firearms chambered 357 SIG, so not a lot of people is buying the ammo. Therefore, the manufacturers aren't putting it out. Therefore, it's rare, driving that price up. If more people had a 357 SIG handgun, they would have to raise production and get those rounds out there. They just they would have to. It's money. They're a business at the end of the day. But anyways, that is my Glock 33 357 SIG, um, you know, conversation review, whatever you want to call it. But I love this thing. It is a joy to shoot. It might be one of those firearms that you just, you know, you, you train with as much as you can, maybe a couple magazines per um, range trip, and then just carry hollows. And yeah, I mean, it's it, it performs. There's no doubt about that. So, but yeah, that's my Glock 33 and 357 SIG review. Thanks for watching.